If you're thinking of moving to Lethbridge, Alberta, I'm sure you'll want to know both the good and the bad. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the five pros and the five cons of living in Lethbridge. If this is your first time to the channel, my name is Murray Wall. I'm a realtor here in Lethbridge with the Real Estate One team. So let's start off on the right foot by going over the five pros of living in Lethbridge. Pro number one is recreational activities and all the exciting things to do in Lethbridge. There are tons of things for everyone in the summer and in the winter, both outdoors and indoors. Recently, Lethbridge claimed number two spot on the greenest cities in Canada list. This has mainly to do with the cycling infrastructure, hiking trails, and the fact that 23.3% of the city's land is parkland. Much of this parkland is along the Old Man River that cuts its way across Lethbridge from the south all the way to the north. A lot of the parks are connected via the Coalbanks Trail, which is a network of pathways measuring over 30 kilometers long. This network connects the Old Man River Valley and the Coolies with all the city's major urban parks as well as many smaller parks. It's popular for walking, biking, jogging and sightseeing. In the winter, you can enjoy activities such as skiing at Castle Mountain or other nearby ski hills, snowshoeing, skating and even sledding right in the city. For sports enthusiasts, there are a lot of gyms around the city including the third largest YMCA in North America. We have numerous swimming pools, tennis courts, basketball courts, baseball diamonds, disc golf courses, cricket pitches, golf courses, and so much more. We have a lot of sports leagues too that you can join like soccer, hockey, and softball, just to name a few. For those seeking cultural experiences, there are museums, art galleries, and theaters that I'm sure you will enjoy. Nika Yuko Japanese Garden is the number one activity on TripAdvisor and it is beautiful both in the summer and in the winter. It's like a little piece of Japan right in the heart of the city. We have farmers markets, exhibitions, trade shows, and even a comedy club. There are local festivals and yearly events like Whoop Up Days, PBR, the Dragon Boat Festival. These are just a few examples of all the activities Lethbridge has to offer. Oh, and if you're a hockey fan, we do have a WHL team, the Lethbridge Hurricanes. Pro number two is affordability. One of the main reasons why more and more people are considering moving to Alberta and specifically Lethbridge is because your money stretches further here. The main factor in Lethbridge's affordability is the housing market. In the first half of 2023, the average detached house price in Lethbridge was $380,000 compared to $715,000 in Calgary or over 1.5 million in Toronto. Home prices have been going up the last couple of years, but they're still a lot more affordable than many other cities in Alberta. Rental costs are also lower compared to those larger cities too, with an average two bedroom home costing around $1,400 per month. If you're moving here from another province, you'll get to enjoy all the Alberta benefits such as no PST, cheaper gas, higher than average earnings due to lower income tax, and no land transfer fee when purchasing a home. Lethbridge has one of the lowest unemployment rates in Canada and a very strong economy. This means finding a job here may be more attainable, ensuring greater job security and stability. Pro number three is diversity. Lethbridge is very inclusive and diverse and is home to people from various cultural, ethnic and religious backgrounds. According to Statistics Canada, between July 2021 and July 2022, international migration accounted for 1,412 people as well as 914 people who moved here from other provinces. Recently, Lethbridge joined the Rural Renewal Stream program, which offers eligible workers the opportunity to immigrate to Alberta more easily. A new multicultural Cultural Center operated by the Southern Alberta Ethnic Association opened in 2016 and serves as a community hub for more than 30 ethnocultural groups from across the region. English is the predominant language spoken by most people here, however, you will hear other languages like French, Dutch, and Spanish, just to name a few. There are a lot of worship places in Lethbridge offering residents the opportunity to practice their faith. There are numerous grocery stores that offer food from different parts of the world and there are many restaurants with a wide range of cuisines to choose from. There are a lot of events held throughout the year that embrace and celebrate Lethbridge's vibrant diversity. Heritage Day, Pride Parade, Indigenous Cultural Events, and Canada Day. These are just a few examples. Lethbridge's population has been growing and as such, the city is becoming more diverse and welcoming to other people and cultures. Pro number four is how family friendly Lethbridge is. A lot of families with young kids are moving here because of the lifestyle that they are able to provide for their kids. There is no shortage of family friendly activities in Lethbridge. Most of the events that the city hosts have a lot of entertainment for the kids too. From face painting, crafting stations, bouncy castles, and ice cream trucks. 
Most weekends, there is a family-friendly event somewhere in the city. The public library and the family center offer a lot of events and activities for families throughout the year, and most of them are free of charge. This is a great way to meet other families. There are also a lot of groups on social media that give you opportunity to connect with other families. There are a lot of playgrounds and spray parks around the city for the kids to enjoy, as well as different sports clubs and other activities such as dance and theater. Lethbridge has a strong education system, which is another reason why a lot of families move here. We have public, private, Catholic, and French immersion schools here. A couple of the schools offer Spanish bilingual programs as well. Lethbridge is only one of few cities its size with two post-secondary institutions, the Lethbridge College and the University of Lethbridge. Pro number five, we are a big city with a small town feel. Even though Lethbridge is officially the third largest city in Alberta with a population of over 106,000, you still get that small town feel that a lot of people are drawn to. Lethbridge has everything you need and more from large shops like Costco and Walmart to local boutique shops and restaurants. You can find most services and amenities that you would find in a larger city for your day-to-day -day needs. Everything can be reached within 15 to 20 minutes and usually there's no traffic. With a small town feel comes a strong sense of community that a lot of neighborhoods have. I have a few neighborhood tours on my channel where you can see for yourself what it feels like living in different parts of the city. Most neighborhoods have associations that organize events throughout the year that bring the community together. There are also a lot of social clubs that are a great way to meet like-minded people, especially if you're new to the city. Now let's move on to the five cons of living in Lethbridge. Con number one, the public transport. It can be challenging to navigate the city without a car. However, it's not impossible as public transportation is available and covers most areas. The main drawback of using buses is that travel times are generally longer compared to driving a car. Occasionally, you may need to take two buses to reach your destination. If you happen to miss a bus, the wait for the next one could be at least 15 minutes. All of our buses are equipped with bike racks on the front, so you always have the option of biking part of your commute if needed. There is a website where you can plan your journey in advance so you can see for yourself how long it would take to get from one place to another. I'll leave a link in the description. Having lived in London, UK for a couple of years, I experienced easily accessible and convenient public transportation. If you're relocating to Lethbridge from a larger city, this is definitely something to keep in mind. For those who require assistance and cannot use public transportation, the city of Lethbridge offers Accessoride service. It is a shared ride public transportation service for eligible users that provides safe and accessible door-to-door -door transportation. In 2022, Lethbridge introduced e-scooters and e-bikes. They are a great option to get from place to place. They're all over the city and with the app, you can easily locate one near you. It's not only convenient, but also fun. Con number two is the wind. If you ask anyone living in Lethbridge what you need to know before moving here, the most likely answer you'll hear is the wind. It's not a secret that Lethbridge is the second windiest city in all of Canada. Some days are extremely windy here, but we don't get too many of those. The most windy month is January, when you'll probably not be spending much time outdoors anyways. The good thing about the wind is it helps melt the snow in the winter and keeps our temperatures warmer than other parts of Alberta. This wind is called a Chinook wind and we're one of only a few places in Canada that get those. In the middle of January, you can experience 5 degrees on Monday, negative 15 on Wednesday, and back to plus by the weekend. The temperature fluctuates a lot here, especially in the winter, which is mainly due to the Chinooks. In the summer, the wind keeps the mosquitoes away. Con number three is the crime rate. Lethbridge has one of the highest crime indexes in the country. These numbers can appear frightening, but they do not give a full picture of what it's like to live in the community. The 2022 crime statistics report was recently released and Lethbridge actually saw an 8% decrease in crime severity rate since the previous year. Overall, there's been more than 19% reduction in overall crime since 2019. In another report, Lethbridge has actually cracked the top 10 list of the safest cities in Canada. The report used Statistics Canada data on four areas, Crime Severity Index, Nonviolent and Violent Crime Severity Index, Crime Solving Rate, and how many police officers there are per capita. So while Lethbridge has one of the highest crime rates, we also have fewer violent crimes while boasting a sufficient police force and high crime detection rate, making our city one of the safest in Canada. Our homicide rate is slightly lower than the Canadian average. I've received messages from concerned people asking me if Lethbridge is dangerous, and I can assure you it's not. There's still some work to be done, but most residents here would agree that Lethbridge is a safe community, but perhaps don't leave your car unlocked or your bike unattended. 
Canada remains one of the safest countries in the world with a relatively low crime rate compared to other countries. So if you're moving here from abroad, I'm sure you will feel very safe in this city. Con number four. There is no international airport in Lethbridge, just a small domestic one that only has flights to Calgary at the moment. If you need to fly, you'll most likely be making a two hour drive to Calgary, which has one of the largest international airports in Alberta. This is not too bad if you only travel occasionally, but might be a bit more inconvenient for frequent travelers. With that being said, sometimes, especially if you're flying internationally, the flight from Lethbridge to Calgary doesn't exceed what you would spend on gas to drive there, plus airport parking. So with a bit of luck, you can find good deals flying directly from here. There have been plans to have a few international destinations from Lethbridge. However, this hasn't happened yet. We're also a three hour drive from Great Falls, Montana, and they have an airport there as well with cheap flights to Vegas. On the other hand, the absence of a large international airport means no noise pollution. Con number five, Lethbridge is not the most walkable and is generally considered to be a more car dependent city. Walkability refers to the ease with which amenities can be accessed by foot. So by this definition, most of Lethbridge is not very walkable. However, there are some neighborhoods or parts of certain neighborhoods that have easier access to amenities, making them more walkable. Downtown Lethbridge can be easily explored on foot as well with various amenities, shops, restaurants, all within walking distance. If you're moving here from another city, you probably won't be surprised by this as a lot of Canadian cities are car centric. However, moving here from abroad, especially Europe, this is something that will take some getting used to. The city has been working on improving pedestrian infrastructure, creating walking paths and promoting active transportation to enhance walkability, but there's still a lot of work to be done. So here you have it, my five pros and five cons of living in Lethbridge. Is Lethbridge perfect? No, no city is. There are a lot of great things that Lethbridge has to offer and I believe that they outweigh the cons. If you have any other questions about Lethbridge, leave me a comment below or reach out to me directly. I'm more than happy to chat with you. And if you're thinking about buying a house here, you better call Wall.